So let's jump right into this. Let's take a quick look at Unilever and PNG. Unilever wants to change things around by 2030, and they want to be carbon positive by that time. They, in addition to this, they want to reduce their environmental impact by 50%, and a big part of that is sustainable sourcing. Looking at PNG, they want to change things around by 2020. They want to power all their plants with 100% renewable energy and also have zero consumer and manufacturing waste go to landfills. Sustainability claims have become increasingly important for companies. Looking back at Unilever, they have stated consumers are demanding responsible businesses and responsible brands. Our experience is that brands whose purpose and products respond to that demand, which they're calling sustainable living brands, they're delivering stronger and faster growth. Those sustainable living brands accounted for half the company's growth in 2014 and grew at twice the rate of the rest of the business. So when it comes to where you'll find the majority of sustainable claims, so far, face and neck care has been the major focus for product launches. And this makes sense because face and neck care product launches lead all launches within the skincare segment. Also, sustainability is just the beginning of a product story. Companies are using multiple natural claims to ensure their product's message gets across. According to a cosmetic executive woman's report, 42% of North American consumers will buy socially responsible brands. If you were to look at an even smaller subset of consumers, the same report indicates 60% of millennials use food ingredients to make their own homemade treatments because they feel it is a more natural option than what they can find in the store. The first sustainability story we'll look at is Goop which is made by Juice Beauty in California. Juice Beauty purchases many of their ingredients from California organic farmers and adheres to 10 eco values that range from creating products that are free from, buying locally, as mentioned before, and using recycled materials for packaging and having solar powered manufacturing. Next up is Kiel. Kiel may not be as organic heavy as Juice Beauty, but they have their own story to tell. They focus on giving back, and offer a recycle and be rewarded program. And this particular product focuses on sustainable farming. Kiel has a program set up in Bolivia which ensures the conservation of resources and helps Bolivian farmers stay competitive in the potato and quinoa markets. Lastly, we look at Vogue, the company that was just acquired by J&J for 3.3 billion, so they must be doing something right. Vogue focuses on using sustainable packaging and creating products with natural and exotic ingredients. They do not include much else when it comes to sustainable strategies, but they make sure to add other free from claims to help boost their story. And that concludes our sustainability presentation. If you have any questions, by all means, contact your local sales rep and happy formulating.